Welcome back to Amnesia, guys. Let's get started. Well then, Kayla, first I'd like to congratulate you on your recovery. Huh? Who's this? And also, I was going to congratulate her first. Don't steal my lines. I was really surprised to hear about the incident the other day, and it seems Shen has been released. To be honest, I was always interested in knowing whether you two were actually dating, but that time was especially... Hey, owner. Good morning. I'm surprised to see you here. I wouldn't have thought the owner of Shinoji Lodge would come all the way down. Did you come by today to give her some encouragement? Yes, I believe it would be quicker to ask the person directly concerned, after all. Toma! Phew! Thanks for the who's who! I've been concerned for quite some time, but Waka insisted I wait until her wounds had recovered. Anyway, tell me, just how much water does this theory of a love triangle with you two and Toma hold? What? That's what you wanted to ask? Mr. Owner, it's completely false. But I heard that she had proposed to you in the past, Toma, during our chat over tea. What kind of questions does this guy ask over tea? That's when she was in kindergarten. It's a pretty common childhood thing. Oh, so cute! Toma, when we grow up, we should get married. Oh, so that memory was... Wow, you really did propose to Toma back then. I know it was only kindergarten, but do you think you made any promises like that with Shen, too? Oh, Mr. Owner, I see you're there. Hello, Waka. Beautiful as always. Oh, stop that. You really are a charmer, and even more so these days. Anyway, would you mind releasing our employees now? It's about time to open the cafe. Oh, yes, of course. Go right along, Toma. Kayla, does this mean you're supposed to stay behind? Okay, Toma, let's open the cafe. Sorry, Kayla, I can't do any more for you. Oh no, there they go. Now then, Kayla, we should be able to talk in peace about the incident. It looks like you have no choice but to go along with it. But still, it's not like you know much more about the incident than anyone else, right? Wait, but this person is the owner of the mountain lodge that everyone was staying at that day. Doesn't that mean he was there when the incident happened? If that's true, he might know a lot more about this than we do. We should be the ones asking him questions. Were you searching for me as well? Of course I did. I know the area better than most others, so I figured I'd be the first to find you. But the person who found you first, Kent, his actions were most impressive. It seemed like he and Iki were calculating something, then they ran off and brought you back immediately. I am sure they were checking attitude contours on a map, then made calculations, based on the point from which you fell. He even checked your height and weight with Shin. What? Really? I guess he knows a lot about maps. If you're interested in the events of that night, why don't you try asking the other guests? I can give you the guest list if you'd like. Wow, that'd be helpful. Since he's offering, you should take it. <laughs> but that really is quite intriguing. The victim decides to investigate the case, the true mystery in the making. I've read stories like this for fun, but I've never encountered a genuine mystery myself before. Uh, exactly what is this owner expecting out of us? Also, what kind of truth did you witness for yourself? Well, you're defending Shen. That I know for certain, but I'd like to know why. Do you have any sort of doubts about this accident? Was this truly an accident with no suspicions whatsoever? I'm glad you seem to be enjoying yourself there. He also seems really fixated on this incident, but it was just an accident no matter which way you look at it, right? Ha! Huh. Also, you came here to work, but it seems like he won't let you go for a while. August 10th I'm pretty tired, are you? Yesterday was our first straight shift, and then that weird guy showed up and started asking a bunch of questions. I'm sure your body is tired, but this isn't good for your mental health either. Try to relax a bit. You have today off, so you should try to get some rest. You've got work again tomorrow. Huh, I wonder if Shin will come by today. Well, speak of the devil. Wait, that's not Shin, it's Toma. Hey, you free today? Toma seems like a really kind and easygoing guy, but he actually acts kind of like Shin sometimes. Maybe this is just how childhood friends act around each other. What are you doing here, Toma? Are you guys up to something? Oh, Shin's here too. No real reason. She had a long shift yesterday, so I just came to see how she's doing. I'll get going now. I didn't have any plans with her, and you got here first. I'll just leave. 
Wait, what? Why is he acting like this? Why can't all three of you hang out together? Sorry, Toma. Shin and I were going to go out. Alright, alright, I got it. Have fun, you two. Sorry. Anyways, let's go somewhere. Do you mind if it's crowded? We should go out to eat. Hmm, going out again. That's fine, but watch your health. If you take it too easy, your body will get weak before you even know it. And then you'll have a really hard time. Oh, right. If you're not feeling well, let me know right away. I'm not trying to push you to your limit or anything. Well, there you go, Kayla. I'm pretty worried about you too, but I think Shen's trying to show how much he cares about you. This picture is so cute. We're back. You walked around quite a bit, but you didn't seem to have too much trouble. Maybe it's just because you gotta take a lot of breaks? Anyway, I'll be going home now. Why are you making such a confused looking face? You're still not recovered. It would be a problem if I came in now. Or are you that sure that I'm your boyfriend? Ha, huh, I guess he's right, Kayla. Then again, he did use his key to come into your room before. I guess that doesn't count. I wanted to ask this for a while, but right now, how do you feel about me? Am I a childhood friend to you, family, or do you actually accept that I'm your boyfriend? Before, I was kind of forceful about getting you to accept me as your boyfriend, but now I'm confused. I did a lot for you to finally see me in that way, to have the sense of something more between us. But now I feel like I need to hold back. I don't want to end up getting treated as a brother again because of it. Since you can't remember, I'm going to say this again. I want us to be together, Kayla. I don't want to just be treated like a brother. That is kind of how I see you. That's not a problem. I'll make you see me as a man. Wait, you realize I said the same thing to you when I confessed to you before, don't you? Ah! But I'm older than you, you know. What does that have to do with it? You just happened to be born half a year before me. That's true, but also we've been together ever since we were kids. I can't just see you as a regular guy after all of this time. Don't worry, I'll make you see me as a man before you even know it. We should go out. But if we do, and things go bad, we won't be able to go back to the way things were before. I already can't go back. I can only see you now as a girl I'm interested in. If you absolutely don't like the idea, I'm not going to force you, but I can't just be your childhood friend anymore. That's not fair. That's like a threat. If you think of that as a threat, then maybe that means there's still hope. I'm sure that means you don't like the idea of not being able to talk to me. That's, of course I wouldn't like that. We've been together ever since you were born. Of course I wouldn't like not being able to see you. Then we should be together. If you were to get a boyfriend, we wouldn't be able to see each other anyways. Either way, something would have to change. We can't just stay like this forever. Let's date, don't worry. You'll get used to the idea before you even know it. Why are you spacing out? Did you remember something? So, what's your answer? Just don't be too forceful. I'll take that as agreement. I got it. Then for now, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I'm not kidding. It's painful to have a girl you like so close by and being unable to do anything. I was trying to wait until your memories came back, but I can't. I have no idea when that might happen. There's no way I can wait. I don't know what I would do if I just kept waiting, only for you to treat me like a brother again. These past three months would have been for nothing. I'll make sure you remember those feelings again. The feelings of being nervous, never knowing when I might kiss you. Well, I'll just go home for today. Your next day off is a day after tomorrow, right? I'll see you then. Wow, that was a surprise. I see. Now I finally see why he asked why you weren't nervous that time he kissed you in the hospital. Even though you might have been going out already, he was always teasing you with sudden kisses. I know he wants you to feel excited and all, but this isn't very good for your heart. Uh, was it really okay to agree like that? August 11th. Oh, good morning. It looks like you've been able to take off most of your bandages. You still don't look your best, but you seem to be recovering nicely. That's a relief. Oh, it's alright for you to keep the bandages on during work. Ever since you returned, we've had more customers become regulars. So you're bringing in those kind of customers? Good morning. Hey, it's Sawa. I heard you both have the same job, but this is the first time we've actually seen her here. Hey, you're looking pretty lively. That's good. 
Oh right, manager, I just thought of it, but maybe we could have an employee fireworks show? With just employees, but isn't the big Atakawa fireworks show today? I'm sure people will go to that. Why do the employees need to have one too? Because of the show in Atakawa. I don't think Kayla can go there now, do you? I'd feel really bad going there without her. Wait, she's doing this for you? I figured that we could at least have fun fireworks show for her. All nice and local. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. Wow, that sounds like fun. Isn't that great, Kayla? I think going to the big show might be pushing it. We should send Toma and Mine a message about this. Oh, maybe we should invite Shen too? Want to give him a call? But he has prep school today. I think he would get mad if you called him so early in the morning. And she's calling him. He picked up. Here, take the phone. Sawa, why are you calling me at a time like this? Do you want to see some fireworks today? Kayla, is that you? Fireworks? What, with you and Sawa? He seems surprisingly interested. Maybe you should explain? Hmm, I got it. I'll head over later. I'll give you a call when you get off work, so tell me where and when. See you later. So he'll come? That's great. I knew he'd accept if you asked him. Oh, Shin's coming too. I got an answer from Toma and Mine. They'll be there as well. That's great. This will be fun. Alright, that's enough of that. We'll be opening up shop, so get ready. Since we're going to be having fun later, let's work extra hard for the customers now. Alright, let's do this one next. This one's amazing. Wait, Sawa, do you have to keep choosing the rocket fireworks? Normal people just light sparklers. Huh, but rockets are way more flashy and awesome. Oh, I know. How about we attach some sparklers to the rockets? That's dangerous! How strange. I could have sworn I was invited to watch fireworks with my coworkers, not asked to babysit kids. I don't mind either way, but just make sure you don't burn any buildings down. I thought you weren't here for a minute, but then I saw you in the corner with your sparkler. It seems just like you. It's easier to sit here than it looks. I guess you can use it as a chair, but make sure not to lean back and fall. Mind if I sit next to you? I'd like a sparkler too. Are you having fun at all? If you're too tired to stand over there with everyone, I could call them over for you. Oh, and just in case you guys are wondering, the green is something that I picked before. And um, I got a bad ending the first time I played this through. So I'm going to be picking mostly whatever's not green, unless I really felt like the green one was, right? Anyways, would you be okay with it being so loud? Why not? It's not like I dislike loud and exciting things. Oh, I see. That's unexpected. He doesn't seem that way at all. Hmm. We've talked about it again, right? About my dad? A drunk guy picked a fight with him, and when he punched him, he happened to hit a really bad spot and the guy died from it. I'm sure you can imagine, but after that, everyone started avoiding me too. It wasn't exactly bullying. They were just afraid, I guess. Back then, I was as unfriendly with others as I am now, so it was really hard for me to bear it all. They all looked at me as if I were some sort of demon. I understand now why they're treating me like that, and I know what we did to the dead guy and his family was terrible. My dad was drunk too, so he wasn't able to hold back there's plenty of blame to go around. But back then, I was just a little kid. I couldn't understand why people called my dad a murderer. I couldn't understand why people alienated me like that. But even back then, you and Toma didn't change at all. When people jeered at me, you defended me, and you brought me out to places like this. There were a lot of places I wasn't able to go, so it was kind of annoying. But if you and Toma weren't there... I doubt I would have been able to even be around other people like this. I never told you before your accident happened, but I'm grateful. It's because you made the effort. I wasn't trying. I was just going with the flow, but I'm trying now. I thought I couldn't do anything about the way people saw me because of my dad or skipping college because we have no money, but I was just using my misfortune as an excuse. It doesn't matter what my dad did. I just need to become someone who nobody can criticize. If I get into a good university and get good grades, I can make my own future. If I can get a scholarship, it won't matter how little money my family has, and I can get that by studying. I'd given up hope and I'd stopped trying, but you made me realize that I could make something of my life. That's why I won't give up again. I never told you about this before either. Maybe this is something you can think about too, yourself. 
Anyway, how about we call those loud people over here? You just sit tight. I'll be right back. Shin's got a lot of issues, too. He seems kind of arrogant, but he's had a lot to overcome that made his attitude like that. And you've shared in those memories with him tonight. Let's get all your memories back quickly, for Shin's sake, too. August 12th. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and stop here and we'll read more next time. Thanks for watching.